An Extended Promise, Part 2. Hello. In our last devotion, An Extended Promise, we studied in Romans chapter 9, verses 7b through 8. Let's look. But through Isaac shall your offspring be named. This means that it is not the children of the flesh who are the children of God, but the children of the promise are counted as offspring. If you haven't watched the previous video, I suggest that you pause this one and go watch that devotion and then come back. Since our time is limited in making the devotions, we have such a short time, and I want to add something to the previous devotion. So before you know, I explained about how that Abraham was made to be the first father of, our, of the faith through his faith. He believed God, and he served God. God made a covenant with him, and he obeyed him. I will multiply your offspring as the stars of heaven and will give to your offspring all these lands and in your offspring all the nations of the earth shall be blessed because Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. God counted Abraham's obedience as righteousness to him. Abraham obeyed from his heart of faith in God. And then God made covenant with him, and it was fulfilled. Abraham obeyed, but not because of a covenant of works. No. God gave Adam the covenant of works, and he failed. Then God gave the covenant of grace. Abraham obeyed God. Why? Because he believed him, or he had faith in him, that he would do what he said he would do. Same as we discussed in the previous devotion, there was no Mosaic law at the time for him to obey. Abraham simply believed the truth of what God told him. Now this lesson, how do we apply this to our life today? Well, you know, when we put our faith in God for salvation from our sins, we choose him as Lord of our life. What does that mean? Well, it means that we trust that he will do what he says he will do in his word. The Holy Spirit has changed us. The Holy Spirit lives inside us, encouraging us in our life to obey God. But thanks be to God that you who were once slaves of sin have become obedient from the heart to the standard of teaching to which you were committed. Now, at the time of Abraham, when he was on earth, there was no list of laws, no Mosaic laws. We couldn't obey all the laws, and neither could he anyway. People of long ago tried, and they couldn't fulfill all of those laws. There was over 600 of them. Obey all of these? No, it's impossible. But we have wonderful news. God does not expect us to obey all these laws. No, our obedience is from our hearts, our faith in God. And that fulfills the law through Jesus Christ, who did it for us. Coram Dio To live Coram Dio is to live one's entire life in the presence of God, under the authority of God, to the glory of God.